All right, so Divine Feminine, this part two, and <clears throat> for your weekly reading. Okay, so Divine Feminine, somebody in your energy, it could be a Virgo, or this is something concerning career. Somebody you share a sixth house with. So this could be like a coworker, your boss, your child's mother, child's father, or somebody you collaborate with maybe on a daily basis. Or this is telling me this person is a Virgo. Divine Feminine, this person need to proceed with caution. Well, how they how they deal with you, how they interact with you. Because I'm picking up several scenarios. Um, Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, if this person not careful, they're going to get karma for how they're treating you, disrespecting you. For other you guys, Divine Feminine, because of who you are, Divine Feminine, because of your personality... You might find something out if you keep pushing the issue that you really wasn't supposed to know. Or something like that. Or maybe you might find something out that you need to know. And this person didn't want you to know. So somebody needs to proceed with caution. I'm also hearing Divine Feminine. You be careful of pushing the issue if you ain't ready for the truth. And this person needs to be careful of pushing the issue if they're not ready for you to know the truth. Like something like that. I also heard coincidence. So I'm going to give y'all an example. Divine Feminine, say like you live in like a urban area or you live downtown in a downtown area. And it's a restaurant. And Divine Feminine, is this man for the past three years, this man stalks you or he spies on you? Because maybe you live where the restaurant is at. I heard like a downtown area. Um, I also heard Subway. So it's like, Divine Feminine, say like this man work at Subway and he see you go in and out your apartment or whatever. And he been stalking you for the past three years. It's like Divine Feminine, lo and behold, for whatever reason, you might go inside this subway. Maybe you're trying to get food or you're looking for a job. Divine Feminine, this man is doing everything he can so you won't get hired or he don't want to fix your food because he stalks you. It's like this man trying to keep you away because he be doing something to you or something or this man obsessed with you or he be stalking you. It's like somebody don't want you to know something, but it could be a coworker, a Virgo, or something like that. It's like somebody want to keep you away, Divine Feminine, because it's something they be lying, cheating, still and trying to get away with. So, Divine Feminine, this could be as simple as you live somewhere, and you usually don't go inside Subway. You live downtown in the downtown area, but little do you know this man that works in this place watches you or they stalk you. And all of a sudden, this week, you walk into this subway and you want some food. It's like Divine Feminine, this man might keep you waiting. It's like he don't want to fix your food or he going to say we closed, get out of here. Or something strange, like something strange might go on, Divine Feminine. It's like this person need to proceed with caution, Divine Feminine. For some of y'all, somebody need to play it cool. Because I heard a coincidence. It's like Divine Feminine, you going to run into somebody that been obsessed with you. This could be a neighbor, a stranger. And this person been like watching you for a long time. And you going to get close. Like you going to go into like a building where they're at. And this person didn't expect you to do that. And this person might like get hypersensitive or something. Or do, do something that's a little strange or a little odd. Or something. Or Divine Feminine, somebody be using, using your identity or something and they don't want you to know. I also see Divine Feminine, you could have did something one time with someone and they kept doing it behind your back. So Divine Feminine, say like this is somebody like in the past, you co-signed for a car for them or something or a house or an apartment. It's like Divine Feminine, since the past, this person done did it seven more times without you knowing or something like that. So Divine Feminine, it's like somebody need to be careful about being cocky or being conceited towards you because you might get suspicious and grow 
It's like you might get suspicious and like start thinking and like, wait a minute. Yeah, somebody better proceed with caution because they the one who's lying, cheating, still and trying to get away with something, divine feminine. And you ten swords, your burden. Or something. Tell me more about this person needs to proceed with caution. So divine feminine, it's not you that need to proceed with caution. It's this person. And they could be doing reverse psychology on you or something. Yeah, they lying. Yep, the seven of swords. Somebody been lying to you about something, divine feminine. Or somebody been lying to you, Divine Feminine, saying they single when they not. And this person need to be careful or you're going to find out, Divine Feminine, or something like that. So this person need to proceed with caution with their lies. Or this person need to proceed with caution saying you're lying or something like that. Tell me more about these sexual fantasies. Blockages and obstacles, yeah. Divine from that somebody could have an addiction with of you. Somebody's addicted to you. This could be an ex or something. Divine from that for some of y'all, be careful if this is a stranger. It's like this man might not be able to control himself or something. So be careful of like rape or something, divine from that. If this is a stranger. Divine from that for other you guys. This is like an ex-lover or a current lover. Divine Feminine, somebody is secretly obsessed with you. And if you tell them no regard in sex, it's like this person might lose it. Or somebody like a karmic. They could be crazy. Um, it's like Divine Feminine, this person, it's like when you don't have sex with this person, it's like they go out and get a different lover. They just have sex with other people. But it's like Divine Feminine, this person is your main lover, your spouse, or this person, it's like Divine Feminine, and this person mind y'all together. But they don't want, it's like they don't want it to be obvious. But this person feels as though you should not tell them no about sex. And if you do, they go, like, cheat on you or something. This is, like, this could be y'all karmic. Like, it's like somebody's in a mental prison because they want to have sex with you, but you're, they're going to get blocked because they're being cocky or they're being conceited or they lying about something or something. Or Divine Feminine, you might find out the person that you're sleeping with, they're the one that's causing you blockages and obstacles. And it's like, this person keep it up, you're going to find out, and then you're not going to have sex with them no more. Or this, or Divine Feminine, you're going to find out how fake this person is. It's like they having sex with you, but it's like they're your hater or something. Or something. Divine Feminine, somebody that's having sexual fantasies about you is going to experience blockages and obstacles this week. Because they're being childish or they're falsely accusing you of you being childish. And it's like so obvious something going on or something like that. Yeah.